Wow. Wow. Hey guys. Hey, I'm Craig. And I'm Sean. And happy, happy holidays. holidays. We are here today doing an exciting, exciting holiday festive show just for you guys. And this video is in collaboration with Alliances for Action, which is an ITC initiative, Caribbean Export, and the European Union. And they're all about bringing Caribbean brands from the Caribbean to the world. And that's what we're gonna be doing today, using some of the best brands that are situated in the Caribbean, so you can bring the sunshine to your holiday season in your kitchen. So today we're gonna bring you a holiday feast and you're all gonna love it. First, we're gonna kick you off with a planting boat with Aki and Kalilu. Then, some jerk turkey. Now listen, this jerk turkey is delicious, guys. Seasoned to perfection, you're gonna love it. Then we're gonna have some coconut Christmas cake with some desiccated coconut on there. And finish it off and wash it down with a chocolate mint martini. Mmm, listen. The thing bad, the thing nice. So guys, I hope you're ready. Let's get cooking. But hold on, hold on. There's one thing missing. Bro, where's your hat, man? Where's your Christmas hat? Oh, you're right, bro. Let's go, man. Come yeah, on, you come on, man. Let's, let's get into the festive spirit. That's right. You can't do this. You need your hat on, you know? You have to. You Especially have to. in the kitchen when you're cooking as well. Good vibes, good food. Let's go. let's go, guys. Let's go. So first up, we've got the delicious planting bolt with amazing Aki and Kalaloo topping. So I've got my nicely ripened planting. So what I'm first going to do is score, open the planting, and open up. Don't cut the ends off, guys, because we're not looking to waste any planting here. Like, it's usually fried, but today we're going to show you a different way to cook planting, guys. I want to score down the middle to make a nice planting boat. When we season it up, all that lovely seasoning is going to go right into the planting. Usually we don't really season planting, innit? Bro? Yeah. But today we're doing it in a different way and much more flavour. Yeah, man. It's good to do something different with planting once in a while. So I've scored down the middle. And what that basically does is open up the planting just like a boat, as you can see here. Yeah. I, I don't mind jumping in this boat, I tell you. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now, guys, I want to lightly season it. First, I'm going to add a bit of extra virgin olive oil. This will help to cook the planting when it's roasting in the oven. So just massage it. Add a bit of paprika or paprika. Some thyme, thyme as yeah. well. Or mixed herb, guys, totally up to you. Some sea salt as well. Finally, a bit of black pepper. Some black pepper yeah. as well. Some black pepper. That's it, right. So now we've got nicely seasoned planting boats. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys have never seen a planting like this. But guys, it's festive period, it's the holiday season, it's time to do something different, impress your family. That's your right, friends. great starters before the main dish. That's right. So we're gonna roast this in the oven, guys, on 180 degrees for about 25 minutes. I love Kalilu, quite similar to spinach, but it's a bit more stronger and flavorful. Right, and it's again Benlar's Kalilu, tin Kalilu, going in now. Look at the color in that, guys. Beautiful. Healthy. Wow. And you can smell the vibrancy that is just coming from this dish. Mm. It's absolutely insane. It's insane, guys. It's insane. So wish you was here. So even the, ca oh, even the cameraman's loving it. The loving the smells, man. We're going to season the thing now, guys, yeah. with some sea salt, yeah. paprika. Paprika. We're going with a paprika. teaspoon of everything. Some black pepper as well. Yeah, man, some coarse black pepper, guys. Mm. Let's go in. We don't go through measurements sometimes, guys. We just yeah. fling the thing in sometimes. You know, how, right. you know how we Caribbeans do? <laughs> <laughs> Going about half a teaspoon of pimento as well. So pimento, as obviously we know, is from Jamaican jerk, you know. That whole process is so, so famous. And it's from the wood extraction to mm. give a nice smoky feeling to the recipe. Yes. Yeah. So we're just going to let this cook down. The kind of is literally just heating it up, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's already canned, it's already cooked yeah. as well from Jamaica. So it's basically heating it up, getting those seasonings combined. That's and it. And now adding the aki, isn't it? Adding bro? the aki, man. Let's go in for the aki. Mm. I love the look of the aki here. So guys, now we're just going to fold it 
with some TLC because you don't want it to be too mushy. It smells so good, so unique, so different from the ones we get here in the UK and in Europe. Yeah, we'll just finish off with a bit of black pepper, just a little pinch of black pepper. Because I love it, you know, when you get that coarse pepper, that ackee, the texture of it looks great, mm. you know? All right, guys, we just took the planting bowl out of the oven and oh my Fresh. goodness. Look at the texture on it. Ooh. Looks crispy, mm. it looks soft inside, the paprika, mm. the garlic, everything's on there. Now we're gonna go in with the ackee and the calorie mix. Look at that, beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. Wow, get it in that boat, bro. Wonderful. Oh, the flavors is insane. Ooh. I mean, Colors as well. Yellow, greens. Yes. Mm. It smells amazing, bro. Wow, it looks amazing, bro. This, this is just the starters, you know? Just the starters. Are you sure? Just the starters? Just wow. the starters. Can't wait. Let's go. Now we're going to pour in some lovely Scotch Boys, Scotch yeah. Bonnet pepper sauce. Yeah, man, just to finish it off with a bit of spice. Yeah. Just sprinkle it on with it. And that just provides the perfect kick. You can impress your family, your loved ones at Christmas with this starter. They'll be blown away. Blown away. All right, guys, so now we're going to make some jerk turkey. So firstly, we want to go with some olive oil. This will help them to make the turkey nice and moist, followed by some unsalted butter. Sometimes turkey can be really dry, but this is a great tip to keep it nice and juicy. We're going to go with some sea salt now. Sea salt is very important in seasoning turkey. Brings out all the flavors. This is a really big bird here, guys. Yes. So we're gonna go in for about three to four tablespoons mm. of black pepper and seasonings to make sure that every aspect of the turkey gets covered. Next, we're gonna go in with some paprika. Paprika. As you can see, guys, we're using a, a combination of different seasonings here. This will help to give the turkey more flavor. Mm -hmm. So we're using ground seasoning first yep. to give it a, like, a nice aromatic extra. Yep, then we're going to go with some dried thyme. Some dried thyme now. You can use mixed herbs, guys, totally up to you. Whatever you've got in your, in your cupboards. Yep. I'm going to stuff the bird with one onion. So I've got half at the moment. So at the back, at the rear, you can just place the, the onion inside. Yep. And it will roast amazingly mm. and you'll see it burst and then all that onion flavour will, will be just all over the bird. So it's like a jerk spice. Yep. Turkey. Yeah, and we're going in with the scotch bonnet as well. Mm -hmm. This will help to give it a nice infused spice all around the bird. We're going with some scallions as well, guys. Just roll them up, scrunch up, and place it inside. You want to see these outside of it and inside of it inside. as well. Yeah, trust me. So when you're biting it, all that over. Energy, it's a beautiful, beautiful. All thing. over. Right. So last but not least, finally, we're going to go in with the super blend jerk seasoning. So this amazing paste here, guys, is a combination of fresh seasonings like fresh thyme, garlic, pimento, scotch bonnets, onions. So much you can see in here, guys, the, the detail and the textures. So just really make sure that you know the size of your bird before putting it all on. So we recommend just maybe just using about half of it first, rubbing it all in. If you need a bit more, just throw a bit more in. Yeah, yeah. So right now, guys, get down and dirty. Get stuck in, you can't be afraid of this. That's yes, right. Yeah, it's not alive, so. Make sure you wash your hands first. Yeah, make sure you wash your hands. The bird's not alive, guys. So just take it, <laughs> take your time, you know, massage all that flavor around the bird, the turkey. Make sure you get the legs, the wing, the breast. You see some um, excess seasoning around, mm. don't let that go to waste. That's right. It's grandma seasoning, you know. Yes, yeah, I'm I know you. grandma always tells us they can't waste no food, so <laughs> every little piece. Mm. And when it's so seasoned well like this, guys, because we've got a lovely balance here in the seasonings and also inside of the turkey too, it's going to produce an incredible, incredible gravy. The, the flavours that's going to come at the bottom of this pan is incredible and we're going to also use that flavour at the bottom for gravy on top as well. That's correct. We've got a, quite a big one here, so it'll take us about three to four hours to cook on a low heat. Mm -hmm. Don't put the heat up too high. Yeah. Slow, nice and slow. Yeah. So you can enjoy. And also, whilst it's cooking, in between it, you'll see juices come out. Just baste the turkey. Yeah. Just keep the freshness, keep the juiciness flowing throughout the cooking process. Yeah. Yeah, man. So yeah. guys, this is one what we made mm. earlier on because obviously time yeah. conscious. 
Unfortunately, we've got four hours, guys. We'd love to spend four hours with you. But we're but sure that this is how it will come up for you yeah. if you try the recipe with super blends, jerk seasoning paste, guys. Look at it, guys. Ooh. Juicy. So we used some gravy from the base of the turkey. So while it was cooking, it was producing a lot of natural juices. Mm. And we added some of the super blend jerk seasoning to it with a bit of water mm. and a bit of stock as well. Mix it up. I can produce this amazing gravy right. on okay. top. It's Guys, imagine this on your festive table. Mm. The people on the table will be drooling listen. and they'll be applauding you. Trust me, listen, the bro. Chef for listen. Doing this. Bro, I know what piece I'll be getting first, yeah? <laughs> yeah? I'll be getting that leg, that thigh, mm. that wing. Okay. Listen, right. Yeah, man, let's get right. into it. Let's get into it, guys. Yeah. Wow. Oh, no, getting that, taking the breast first. Mm. Well, it's so easy to cut, guys. It's so soft. Ooh. And that smell of that jerk. Ooh, look at that. Wow, Just falls off the bone mm. easily. Let's see if I can pull this leg off. Look. Wow. <laughs> Just falls off the bone. Literally. Falls so tender, guys. So tender. tender. On Christmas Day, guys, you know you have to have rice and peas on the table. Yes, guys, let us know if you have that as well. Been having that since we were young, isn't it, Craig? Oh, I'm telling you, boy. What, you have, what would you eat this with? To be honest, I'll eat this turkey by itself. It's so good. Oh, right. It looks amazing. It smells incredible. And there's so much juices, guys, at the bottom. You can kind of like just pour on there. Wow. Ooh. Make sure you get in the rice as well. Mm -hmm. Guys, this will go amazingly with some Christmas roast potatoes, Coleslaw. vegetables. Ooh. Callaloo, spinach, cheese. mac and cheese. <laughs> oh, listen, the list is endless. I'm telling you guys. So this guy's it's amazing, it smells amazing. It does. So guys, so guys, that's it for the jerk turkey. Let's move on to the dessert. Yep. So third on the recipe list, guys, is dessert. Mm. And we're using O's, coconut flour, and we're making a delicious Christmas coconut cake. So first, you need four eggs. Just gonna crack them in. Whisk it up. Whisk, 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 whisk. Put some music on as well while you're cooking. So one stick of butter goes in. Unsalted butter, guys. And now I'm going to cream the eggs and the butter together. Now I'm going to add in O's coconut flour. Right. I'm going to go in by sieving it in. Sieving it in so this produces a more smoother texture into the flour mix, guys, so you get a nice smooth texture in the cake as well. So what's special about this flour? Oh wow, what is special? What isn't special about this yeah. flour? It's gluten free, it's got obviously the extraction from a real coconut as well, mm -hmm. so the flavours in it is so good and it's gluten free like yeah. I said. Yeah, it's healthy, it's light, and yes. you know, I love the texture in it as well. Yeah, it's beautiful, look at that. Really fluffy, light. And less guilty as well, you know? Less guilty, more less, flavor. Yeah, less pounds on the, on the belly as well. <laughs> so we've got 227 grams here. Lovely, and this thing yeah. is about, it's got a real unique texture yeah. to the coconut flour. And even if you pour it in, you can smell it. Oh mm. my goodness. It smells unbelievable, it guys. It smells unbelievable, really good. It smells like coconut coming through. Yeah. It smells fresh, it smells healthy, natural mm. as well. I don't know about you, bro, but yeah. I've never been this excited about flour. Is it? <laughs> never. Neither have I, man. Never, man. Never. Normally, flour is quite boring. Mm. There's no really smell to it yeah. or much texture to it. No, it's not. got a great soft texture, yeah. and I can't wait to make this cake. Our right, next thing, guys, now the flour's in, mm. we're going to add in some coconut milk. So, makes sense. Coconut does, flour, coconut milk. Add that moisture in there as yep. well. Yep. One can of 400 ml. This will give, give it an extra creamy, rich, coconut flavour. Next we're going to go into some vanilla essence. Yeah, or well you can use vanilla extract if you've got that, it's completely fine. But a teaspoon in there, some cinnamon bro. Yes, cinnamon, very key. Teaspoon of nutmeg as well goes in. The flax is going to help it bind together and help the cake get really solid mm. and not fall apart. So one teaspoon, flaxseed goes in. Next, I'm going to add in some desiccated coconut. This will give it a nice texture, an excellent flavour. Mm. You know, and this look, looks quite pretty. It does. The edges are a lot more rigid, and you can definitely be able to feel that texture as well when you're munching and yamming that beautiful and delicious cake. 
And last but not least, we're using some baking powder. This will help the cake to rise. So now we're gonna mix it up. Get in there, it's gonna give it a nice fold. That smells incredible, guys. Really wish you were in our kitchen right now. Mm. But I'm sure you guys will be cooking this up in your own kitchens. Spending so many different flavors of coconut. Yeah. From the coconut milk to desiccated coconut mm. uh, and the flour as well, yeah? Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, it's it so, so good. Mm. Like literally it's amazing. On, I could like, drink this, you know? Oh, just seriously drink this. It's like <laughs> on a tropical island, you know? <laughs> just mixing it up in the bowl, you yeah. know? Wow, wow, wow. And that's a great thing about, you know, this, this show and working with ITC and also with Caribbean Export in the EU, you yeah. know, they really are trying to champion Caribbean, Caribbean products food. to the world. Yeah. The smell right now, guys, it's smelling tantalizing. Mm. Tantalizing, man. So it's amazing. Nice mix, bro. It is, thank you. Yeah, done it before. You've done it before. Never. <laughs> Good, man. Right, let's pour the mixture in. And wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Wonderful. Mm. The smells are so exciting. Yeah, look at the texture as well. Oui. Now, let's put it into the preheated oven for about one hour to bake and for that delicious cake to come out and enjoy. That's it. Set it down at 180 degrees, guys. 375 Fahrenheit. Let's go. Woo! -wee! Guys, this smells delicious. I wish you were here to have it with me. I can't wait to slice this up. I can't wait to garnish it up. This is the coconut cake, the coconut Christmas cake using O's coconut flour. Now I want to decorate it with, firstly, some syrup. I'm gonna go with some syrup, guys. A generous amount of syrup on top, because we like it sweet. Let's get a paintbrush, like a Van Gogh. And this, you know, paint on the syrup all around the cake. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, guys, but Craig is not with me at the moment, but he's doing the washing up. You know, he got the shorter straw. You know, every Christmas day, every, someone's got to wash up, and that's Craig today. So Craig, yeah, man, enjoy the washing up. I'm not gonna enjoy this cake. <laughs> Yeah, so now I've got the syrup on here. I'm going to decorate with some desiccated coconut. Just take off the, the rim. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it now. The best part. Soft, light and fluffy. I'm going to get a nice little triangle here. Look at that. Get onto the plate. As I got my custard, feel free to use ice cream, but custard is the way forward for this Christmas coconut cake. Ooh. You see the desiccated coconut melting from the pouring of the spectacular custard. Mm. Now I'm gonna dive into this. If you don't mind, guys, I'm gonna tuck in to this Christmas coconut cake and custard. I haven't, even, I haven't even eaten it yet. I haven't even eaten it yet, and it just smells. Oh. Craig, boy, you're missing out on this, you know? Mmm. Wow. I'm lost for words. The custard goes so well. The cake is soft. Very coconutty. There's so much different texture of the coconut from the desiccated. I can taste that coconut milk as well. And that vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon. Mmm. Hey, when you make this at Christmas, everyone's gonna love you. Right guys, now all food has been eaten. It's been an amazing day. Belly full, you know. <laughs> Listen, my belly is full and I'm about to indulge and enjoy a nice drink. This drink I'm about to make is gonna be a mint chocolate martini. Mm. One of my favorites. Yes. But we've made a little twist. That's right guys. It's got a beautiful, beautiful cocoa-based 
flavor from Belize's Chocolate Company. Yeah. And we're gonna use some cocoa powder from them and also we're gonna grate a lovely bar of chocolate yeah. on top of it and give it a lovely garnish, yeah. isn't it, bro? That's right, it, bro. you guys are really keeping it Caribbean. Yeah, that's it, we bro. got to, we got to. Trust me, as you can see, to. the chocolate bar has been opened. Yes. Because it's so <laughs> delicious, guys. We kind of like, you know, had a little pick. That's right, you know. <laughs> Early pick before dinner, you know. Is what it really does help to combine the flavors it of does, food it as does, well. It so does, it does. That's why a lot of people have it after eating. Yeah. So it's a perfect, perfect blend. So Belize, perfect. it's from Belize, Belize as well. So imported straight to our doorstep. Yeah. Guys, you can get it yourself as well. Yeah, so right. we're about to dive into this recipe and I'm so Crazy. excited. Listen, I'm so excited. Right, we're, no, we're no bartenders, but <laughs> today we're bartenders. I'm going to okay. show you how to make this a fantastic yes. mint chocolate martini. Let's, go, let's, let's get straight into it. I'm going to start off with uh, extra dry white wine from Italy. Yes, yes. One of the best ones as well. We're going with 30 ml. Yes, and we're going to go with, with 50 ml of vodka. Yeah. This is for two people, by the way, or if you're really festive. Just for Three or four. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go with some dry gin as well, guys. You can use any gin of, of your choice. Yeah, man. Let me go in. <laughs> you starting a drink? <laughs> Listen, man, everyone makes mistakes, innit? Look. I'm tired, it's been a long day. It's Christmas. <laughs> now we're going to go in with the chocolate liqueur. 200 ml of Irish cream. All right, guys, I'm gonna go in with about three to four cubes of ice. This will help to keep the cocktail nice and cool, nice and, you know, fresh as well, isn't it? Right. Then, guys, we're gonna go in with the star of the show, the Belize Chocolate Company's Cocoa Powder. Oh, really wow, good. it's was so really good. fresh. It's literally so raw. Yeah. Straight from Belize. Mm. And guys, Belizean crew, we've got some fantastic cocoa there. Big them up, man. All right, guys, now I'm going to add in some mint. This will give it a nice aromatic flavor. Yeah. So I'm going to break in four leaves. So now the mint's in, guys. Now I'm going to put the lid on and put the final touches to this cocktail. And give it a shake. Make sure the lid is on secure. Basically, you're just gonna give it a shake. And when you're shaking as well, you gotta dance, yeah? You have to dance. You have to dance, hey. guys. <laughs> Put on some soca. Soca. Put on some reggae. Your reggae. And it's really And dance the night away, up. guys. And enjoy your Christmas with your family and friends, drinking responsibly. That's right, guys. Shake it up. Let me give it a shake as well, man. I'm not shaking it strong enough, so my brother's gonna. Yeah, give it a shake. There. Yeah, man. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Yeah, man. Shake, shake it. 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 I don't know what you're talking about. But guys, <laughs> take it really well. And Why? it should have a lovely, lovely mix up of all those lovely, lovely flavours. Yes, guys. man. You look like a real bartender, bro. Yeah, man. Mm. Beautiful. You can see lovely. the cocoa just bursting through there. I'm going with the second one, bro. This is your one. Can't wait to get I can't wait to try this. <laughs> is that it, yeah? Yeah, man. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm joking. Let's see what we mash up with that gin and that vodka. <laughs> Why? You know, make sure guys you pour your drink first and then everyone else's. <laughs> well, mine will be fresher, isn't it? <laughs> there you have it, guys. Nicely done. Now I'm going to break open one bar of Belizean chocolate. I'm mm. just literally just going to grate it on top, bro. You're going to grate it nicely. Mm. This is my favourite part of the drink, well, besides drinking it. <laughs> I love the garnish, it's really pretty on the eye. The presentation is so important when you're hosting guests, especially over the festive period. The drinks are so, so crucial to starting the party and ending the party right. And look at this, look at the amazing cocoa powder that is settling onto the drink. I'm gonna lie, I just had a bite of it, man. Yeah, it tastes good, doesn't it? Very good. So, so good. Very good. I'm gonna just garnish with a, a bit of mint. If you're feeling extra chocolatey, guys, you can just get these lovely 
cocoa sticks. Yeah. And just balance it on the side right there. Doesn't that look so amazing, Beautiful, guys? Beautiful, guys. guys. Absolutely wonderful. After a long day of Christmas. Yes. Plenty of food. Yeah. You might have the kids running around. You want to chill out after a long day. Also, guys, to toast the new year, especially after the year that we've had, you deserve a special drink. Yeah. And there's no more special than this, guys. The mint chocolate martini to toast off the perfect festive feast. Yes, yes. Now, guys, well, now I'm going to go away and enjoy this. That's right. Put our feet up. It's been a long day of making food. And I hope you do too as well, guys. Mm -hmm. Have a great Christmas. Yes. And a happy new year. Happy new year. We'll see you soon.